Spreek je Nederlands? Klik dan op deze vlag. Tu parles français? Alors klik op ce drapeau. Do you speak English? Then click on this flag. Hablas español? Entonces haz un klik in esta bandera. Sprichst du Deutsch? Dann klik auf diese Fahne. Very good! Max on the Moon Have you chosen an alien yet? If so, click on it and you can carry on playing where you left off last. Who are you playing for the first time? Then choose an alien now. Great! Off you go! Max is visiting his Uncle Pong, the famous inventor. As usual on a Sunday afternoon, they're having some cake. A lot of cake. They are talking about Mona, the astronaut. A few days ago, Mona flew up to the moon to examine its surface. <sighs> I must say I'm just a little bit worried. Mona's been gone a whole week and I still haven't heard a word from her. Don't you two like my cake? Of course, Auntie Lisa, but we've eaten tons already. Huh? Ooh. My goodness, I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another crumb. Huh? What's that? Ooh, a meteorite. A stone from outer space, by thunder. A note. Uncle Pong, there's a note attached. Dear Uncle Pong, I need your help. Up here on the moon lives a small, rather curious fellow. The man in the moon. He's stolen the ignition key to my rocket. He'll only give me back the key when I've got hold of eight moon chicks for him. They're supposed to be hidden somewhere up here. But I haven't found a single one yet. Can you help me? Yours in despair, Mona. Oh dear. Poor Mona. Come with me, Max. I've still got an old rocket we can put together. Can you help get the parts of the rocket to the right places? Thank you. Well done. I can't get in anymore. I must have eaten too much cake. Max, do you realize what this means? Hmm. It means you want me to go on my own. Do you really think that's a good idea, Uncle Paul? You'll be all right, Max. Don't you worry about that. 
All you have to do is press the start button and off you go. Would you like to fly to the moon with Max? Yes? No? Yes? Ten, nine, eight, seven, five, six, four, three, two, one, ignition, blast off! Endless, endless flight, it is my heart's delight Fast a tiny twinkling star in my rocket, oh so fast To find a blue chick's our task That should be quite a blast for the two of us to find them Mona, I'll help you look, I'm coming! The moon shines brightly Helping Max find his way through space he manages the landing almost perfectly. But the weightlessness up here takes a bit of getting used to. Hello, who are you? I'm Max, Uncle Pong sent me. I'm here to help you find the eight moon chicks for the man in the moon. Really? That's wonderful. The ch chickens could be absolutely anywhere. Out here, or even in my rocket. We'll have to search every nook and cranny. Sand. The moon is mostly made up of sand you find at the bottom of bird cages. I bet you never thought that, Max. That's very practical for the moon birds. Relax, little rocket. I'll be back. Is that where you live? Yes. My rocket doubles as a living quarters. Very practical. Should Max go into the rocket house? Yes. No. Yes. Max and Mona enter the rocket house. Mmm. Mona's kitchen smells of spaghetti and tomato sauce. And this is where I live. I had to install gravity in the house, otherwise everything would be constantly hurtling all over the place. Brilliant. This is my friend Electrowoof. Made him myself. Hello, everything is okay. Woof, woof. Dion, Dion, que moi, c'est moi, c'est moi qui est là. Should Max go out on the moon again? Yes. No. No.
I've found the first bird. Great! This is how my spaghetti machine works. Real spaceman spaghetti goes through the tube first, then lands on the plate. And there's a dollop of ketchup too, of course. Would you like to go through this door with Max? Yes? No? Yes? Rocket's living room, Max has to try out the yellow moon chairs at once. Yes, they're comfortable. Uh, it's very cozy here. You're listening to Radio Cosmic. The traffic situation at present, the traffic lights are out of action at the junction with the Milky Way. Stars are directing traffic. Today's speed traps are in the orbits of Saturn, Mars and Pluto. Radio Cosmic, keeping intergalactic pilots and truckers right up to date. Great! A second chick! Now there are only six left to find. Armstrong, having trouble getting out of bed again. What on earth is that? That's where my emergency homesickness chair is hidden. When I feel homesick, I sit down in my That's Better chair. From here, I can always see what's going on down on Earth. I'd love to see what Uncle Pong's up to at the moment. Then you should press 3. Oh no, I should have known it. Uncle Pong stuffing himself with cake again. Auntie Lisa's having a bath. That's my friend Willie, the castle ghost. Really? You know a ghost? Cool! My sister! Nina the pirate, sunning herself. Oh, you must have got through to the post office. Certainly looks like it. That's Lotta, my little neighbour. Isn't she unbelievably sweet? Grandpa Hannes, 
asleep as usual. That's my parents watching TV. Where do you want to go on playing? What is hidden behind this door? Would you like to find out? Yes? No? Yes? In the bathroom lives an alien. She's called Mrs. Pollock and comes from the planet Rumpulus. Mrs. Pollock loves to take showers. Max, may I present Mrs. Pollock? She needs a gravity-free area. That's why I haven't had gravity installed here yet. Ah, oh, hello. Five more to go. <laughs> Would you like to go back to the living room? Yes. No. Yes. Should Max go through this hatch? Yes. No. Yes. This is where Max sees what Mona makes out of moon sand. And of course, he can look for a moon chick here too. This 
This is my degravity-fying machine. I use it in the whole rocket, apart from the bathroom, because Mrs. Pollock lives there, and she needs weightlessness. I make moon sand into electricity and oxygen. Practical, isn't it? And now you have to push one of the yellow buttons. A cat with a leopard skin coat? Yes, a cat with a leopard skin coat. Zebra cat? Cool! Now there's only four moon chicks to find. My cocoa machine. I invented it myself. Brilliant. Would you like to go through this door with Max? Yes? No? Yes? This is the observatory. Mona watches the stars through the big telescope. She uses the, the practical little space buggy to go on short excursions in outer space. I can see my village. There, that's just around the corner. And there's Uncle Pong. These are my stone samples. The moon is mostly made from the sand you find at the bottom of bird cages. The rest is made up of cake crumbs and the sand that children shovel over the side of their sand pits. There's a stroke of luck. Only three chicks left to find. Cloud Tamer. I use it to turn threatening clouds into tame little sheep. Then I transform the tame little sheep into harmless clouds. This is where we count the shooting stars that people make a wish upon. So far today, there have been 1,210,234 wishes made. Would you like to paint an alien? Yes? No? Yes? New picture!
Bekerja to visit the space cafe with Max? Yes? No? Yes? Please take a seat and fasten your seat belt. If you wish to fly back, then just press this green button. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Space cafes are fine institutions. There are always lots of strange aliens and very, very strange drinks. Could there be a moon chick somewhere here? Yes, son. Can I get you anything? I'll have a glass of supernova juice, please. The things you can get here. Chunky Martian sausage, hot moonestroni soup, cream of clouds with Vesuvian wafers, and freshly squeezed supernova juice, which tastes really good. Man, sure, man. Blip, 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 blip. And now on to sport. The title of Hoverer of the Year goes to Daggy McGraggy from Saturn, closely followed by the Martian champion Lombo Batombo. <laughs> Hooray! Great! That's another moon chick found! Two more, or we'll have them all! the observatory? Yes? No? Yes? Well, how was it? Great! The space cafe is really cool. Would you like to go with Max to the Milky Way? Yes? No? Yes? Please take a seat and fasten your seat belt. If you wish to fly back, then just press this green button. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one, zero.
street full of milk bottles. This is exactly how Max had pictured the Milky Way. Hello, Chichi Look, the moon chick. We only have to find one more and we can fly home. Bye, Tracy. Chee Chee. Bye, Mum. Chee Chee. Should Max fly back to the observatory? Yes. No. Yes. Everything okay, Max? Yes, everything's fine, thanks. Should Max go back to the engine room? Yes. No. Yes. to the living room? Yes. No. Yes. mostly made up of sand you find at the bottom of bird cages. I bet you never thought that, Max. That's very practical for the moon birds. Would you like to visit the moon garden? Yes. No. Yes.
the Moon Garden. In amongst the craters and grazing sheep flutters the astronauts washing. Oh, may I have a go? Of course. Yippee! Did you plant that flag there? No. There must have been someone here before me. Careful, Max. This is where the man in the moon lives. Uh-oh, too late. Mona, is that you? Have you finally managed to catch all eight moon chicks, hmm? Uh, not yet. But, um, I expect to have all eight of them together soon, definitely. I should jolly well hope so. You don't want to stay on the moon forever, do you? <laughs> Gosh, what a meanie. Hello, Mr. Man in the Moon? This is Max speaking. I'm helping Mona look for the moon chicks. It won't be long before we bring you all eight. You can count on that. Aha! Another small person. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> ha This is my favourite game up here on the moon, catching shooting stars. Do you want to play? Yes? No? Yes, please. Let's see how many shooting stars you can catch. Great! The shooting star game. Here's what to do. In a moment, Ten shooting stars will fall from the sky. You and Max have to try and catch as many as you can. To make the game easier, click on the figure one. To make the game harder, click on the figure two. shooting stars. Great! Would you like to go back to the landing site? Yes, yes. chicks. Now we can go and see the man in the moon. Max and Mona have now found all the moon chicks. So off they hurry to the man in the moon. I wonder what he wants the chicks for. Hello Mr. Man in the Moon. Now we've found all eight moon chicks.
What? Really? That's wonderful. Right, you two, play me a nice tune. A tune? What sort of tune? Go on, play something. I want to hear that song, that lovely, lovely song. You know the one I mean. I'm afraid I don't. This one, maybe. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I want to hear, played by the Moon Chick Ensemble. Here you can listen to the song you've composed again. Here you can erase the music you've composed. Beautiful. Now I'll sing along. La 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 la. Oh, it really is too lovely. Thank you, my little angel. Here's your ignition key. I must say, Max, you're a top notch chap. And now that I've got my little band of chickies that can always play my favorite melodies, you can fly home again. Goodbye, my little doves, and do fly safely. Goodbye, Mr. Man in the Moon. Bye, Man in the Moon. He's one solar panel short of a satellite, isn't he, Mona? I'm inclined to agree with you, Max. He did all this just to get some chickens to play for him. Unbelievable. Come on, let's shoot off home. I'll lead, you follow. I'll never be alone again. Oh, I do so love music. And all my moon chickens are here. Here with nothing to fear. Mona to Max, everything okay? Oh, Max to Mona, everything's fine. Maybe the man in the moon was all right after all. What do you think? Over. Mona to Max. Mona to Max. I think he's nice, the man in the moon. Perhaps he was just a bit lonely. Oh well, he's got his chicks and his... Max to Mona. Shall we visit him again sometime? Over. Mona to Max. We certainly will, Max. Oh, and Max, the adventure with you was lots of fun. Over and out.